SMT Nation, we back Nation. This article from Dano says it all. There may not be much interest in T-Mobile's 800 megahertz auction. For those of you keeping tabs on this, this was the Spectrum that was supposed to be sold to Dish. Uh, they have indicated that they, due to capital restrictions, just simply can't afford it, can't buy it. After agreeing to an extension that was going to have to have them forfeit $100 million in fees so they could pay for it at a later time and extend it beyond the original date, it's a very interesting uh, conundrum that we see here for both T-Mobile and Dish. Let's talk about it here in today's video. This article kind of tying up some loose ends on what we think might play out in the future. Let's discuss it here. Link for the article in the description. Ways to support us can be found there as well. Please do like and share this video if you want to help out the SMT YouTube channel. Okay, so the 800 megahertz frequency here for these licenses are, you know, they're, they're in a precarious situation position right this is a frequency that maybe to a company like sprint was important because it was their low band and it was the only low band they had low band frequencies travel very far with lots of power you know they can get you some good range and indoor coverage and propagation so that that's that's what it was and you know that's what it is but you know dish can't afford to buy it they have no money they are absolutely cash strapped T-Mobile, you know, this doesn't really fit what they're trying to do. I'm not even sure if they have radios on air, you know, that can utilize this. Uh, so they're looking for a buyer. The FCC would be managing any type of auction, you know, for the spectrum. And all indications are is that, you know, it doesn't really make sense for AT&T and or Verizon to get involved. It just doesn't. You know, th th just think about it like this, guys. Here we are. In this mature state of 5g networking and you know national networking these companies already have low band these companies are building mid band across the country to scale national you know you're gonna sit there and spend billions on a 13.5 megahertz chunk of 800 megahertz frequency to what benefit you know these companies like verizon they spent 50 plus billion dollars on c-band they're building that they spent billions on CBRS. They're spending billions on millimeter wave. What are they going to do with 800? And then for AT&T, same situation. You know, they were so cash strapped, they split the auctions, DOD and C-band, to try to save some money. So what, they're going to willy-nilly just all of a sudden buy this low band frequency that is going to involve them climbing up towers again and adding more radios, which is going to raise rent costs and have to modify leases and you know how do you aggregate it and all these other questions start posing you know the, what it, it just doesn't fit right and and i don't think it's speculation i think those things are valid you know which which brings us into what the hell's going to happen well we know all indications are is that dish isn't going to pay for it so it's going to go to an auction is there going to be a demand for it i don't know who knows it doesn't fit for t-mobile verizon or at&t I don't know. In this article, they talk about utilities companies. I don't know. I mean, what, what the hell does that even mean? What are they going to do with it? What are they broadcasting for? You're going to do fixed wireless over a 13.5 megahertz chunk? Part of that is probably a guard band. It probably gets worse at like Canadian border, Mexico border. You know, uh, what's it worth? You know, knowing that it's so limited, knowing that it's going to need climbing, knowing that it's doesn't have a, a, a nice fit, you know, for whatever. I don't I don't know about the whole utilities thing. All I'm saying is the FCC is going to be dictating who gets to play in the auction for it. I don't know how much money it can actually demand. I, I don't know who wants it. But, uh, you know, the, the speculation begins about utilities companies, apparently. I, whatever that means. Do you guys understand? Uh, like, seriously, I'm not even joking. This is a legitimate question. What are the utilities companies going to do with it? That's what I want to know. And why are they coming up in this article like three times? Tell me. Sound off in the comment section below. Though the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard.